your regular presenter for Wildmark channel um, is driving currently um, and I've been charged with navigating so I'll just turn you round we've been on this road for around 40 minutes you can see there's not much in the way of uh, any road surface or um, civilization so to speak yeah I'm not allowed to navigate no more am I so what comes from this is don't let Jared do the navigating because we've been like I mean they were chasing us with pitchforks down part of that road so where the hell I have absolutely no idea where we are what we're doing Welcome to another video. This is day one of the return to Glöskorgen National Park in Sweden. So we just dropped Rod and uh, Gary back off at the airport and we're now going to make our way across the border into Sweden. Just got to just drop off at a supermarket there to pick up some more supplies and then we'll be making our way down to Glöskorgen. Right, so here we are back at the spot where I think probably my fascination for Sweden and Scandinavia came from. About 10 years ago, we took a drive from the UK, me, the missus and the kids, and uh, we came to this spot and spent a night um, camping here. And it's sort of just, uh, I don't know, it just it's just hit me and I just come back here every single time. And it's nice to come back and sort of reminisce, you know, when the, the kids were small before they were drinking and, uh, being annoying little gits, but it's nice to come back here. So this is Ervreglor that we're at now. So this is the upper glass as it translates to, because Glossgorgen means glass forest. So, and it's basically down to the lakes that are around the area here. So we're just gonna drive down to the tourist center down there, get our camping and our fishing cards down there, do a bit of a kit sort of swap out. And then we're gonna head out onto Storaglor. That's the plan today. And it's a lake that I haven't paddled twice the size of this one here that we've got here over a glow and uh, go find a spot there and then we'll do another route back round uh, to back to the visitor center um, i came here a couple of years ago with matty and we done a section of uh, uh, Glosskorgen and we didn't even touch the sides with it it's a massive massive park so me and jared have come back to uh, explore a little bit different explore some new areas as well so really looking forward to it so we've done a big shop we've got absolutely tons of food for the for the duration i don't know how we're going to get it all in our bags i really don't but uh, it's gonna be nice just to get up there get everything in the water and just head out we've got a little bit of surface shop on the on the lake there but nothing massive we'll be able to handle that until we can find a place for for a camp tonight right then should we saddle up Go on up. Well, this is a bonus We've got our fishing cards, we've got our camping cards. The guy there is really, really helpful. He's actually uh, pointed us to our first hut, which we were gonna walk 6K to. And he says, no, you can drive down there. So uh, we're now gonna drive down there and uh, leave the car. And it opens up a whole new aspect of uh, this fish, uh, fishing and, and pack rafting on this park here. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. At least we haven't got a six, seven K walk and then we could go and spend the night in the hut down there and uh, sort out all of our gear because everything's still wet from uh, that dank hole we were sleeping in in Norway. So uh, yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Really helpful guys down there. So big thank you to the guys that were That's in the hut there. Station. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's go. So here we are, we just parked the car up. We're literally right next door to the hut here and it's an absolute beautiful, beautiful lake. There's a couple of people there and uh, they're happy enough for us to, to camp in the area. You know, the whole thing about this, the concept of, you know, free love to live as it is in, in, in uh, Scandinavian is nature is for everyone. 
and uh, we're just going to sit and spend the evening down there with those and have a cook up and have a chat and everything and that's the one thing i love about it is the people that you meet with it when you come out to these places so anyway right we've got all of this stuff all in flight bag still so we need to sort all of that out and uh, then make our way down there and uh, you wait till you see what we're cooking up it's going to be an absolute storm Jared with his Iron Age tools. Just tore it, tore it apart, right? Yeah. It's amazing when you <laughs> need it. I'll just put them in here for the minute. I need space. One for me. <laughs> Cleaning this cover. <laughs> Cleaning, we've got that. that. Right, well there we go. Dinner is served. We're going to have this and I think we'll get out on the water and have a bit of fish. See whether we can catch anything out of here. But you know what my record's like. Alright. We've left Jared washing up. Let's throw some lures. Nothing on the fishing. Me and Damien have been out for a little bash around the lake. Absolutely nothing. One little follow off a little pike. But that was it. But what an absolute beautiful, beautiful evening this is. It's absolutely gorgeous.